Hi, my name is Marika Griffin, and I play the role of Emily Webb. And I'm Taylor Hurd, and I play the role of Mrs. Gibbs. The women figures in the play, I think the playwright Thornton Wilder did a good, good job on touching on what it was like to be a woman during this time period. And doing the play now in 2022, you can see the reflectiveness that it still has on 2022, whether it's you're not being able to use your voice or you're not being able to go for your dreams. Emily, she's a schoolgirl and she wants to make speeches her whole life and impact the world, but she's not able to do that because she's expected to marry into a family and she's expected to not go to college just as Mrs. Gibbs is expected to not go for her dreams and to put all of her wants and desires into her family and that's okay but I think the playwright is kind of shining on a light on how there's things other than that in life and people should be able to go through that and experience life in its essence without living life for other people's expectations. So I play Mrs. Gibbs which is one of two mother figures in the play. Um, and I'm actually, I'm not Emily's mother, but I am her future love interest's mother. Mm -hmm. And basically the role that my character plays in the show is showing the role of a mother who devotes herself to her family and puts her own wants and needs on the back burner for her family. Um, and she has this dream of going to Paris, France. Um, and every time she mentions it to her husband, he kind of brushes it off. Um, so basically, um, her life is, um, you know, making meals for her family and, and picking out their clothes and, and she really devotes herself to them and ultimately doesn't really get any of the things that she had wanted out of life. And I think that that's a heavy message because, you know, I think that happens to people a lot. Um, they kind of settle and don't go for those big, crazy dreams that they always wanted um, and I think that Mrs. Gibbs relays that message. I think people should come see this play so you can open your mind and kind of see the life that you're living day to day with a more reflective lens. I think people should come see this play to be able to look back on what they do every day and see if they're appreciating it. One of the reasons that I really love this show is it encompasses the idea that we don't appreciate life while we're living it. You can't see, you know, that you're not seeing it until you're out of it. Um, and I, I really like that message because, um, and this might be a hot take, but I, I think that as a society, we have a very um, ironed out pattern of how people are supposed to live their lives. You know, go to school, get a job, have a family, and then ultimately die. Um, and I don't necessarily think that that's a rule book we should all be following. I think that those things can all be very important, but I think that there's more to life than just living out those steps. Um, and I think that this, this play captures that and it, and it talk, you know, says that we need to live life how we see we should live it while we're in it or ultimately we'll regret it. And and I think that everyone could use a little taste of that. So please come see our town. We have a great message to show you guys. And I think you're going to enjoy it. Yes, November 10th, 11th, and 12th, right in Schuyler Theater.